He's not saying much about Le'Veon Bell. Let's see if these guys will. Stephen A., you're a Steeler fan. We, we, we've documented that. Uh, and you've been talking about that for years. What do you make of the where this thing is right now? Well, listen, here's the bottom line. You have players who feel betrayed by Le'Veon Bell because he told them he would be there last Wednesday before week one, and he didn't show up. And ever since then, they've been running their mouth about him. I have no problem with the position that Mike Tomlin has taken. I have no problem with the position that the Steelers organization has taken. I have a problem with the players and the position they've taken because you know better. You are a player. This is the business of football. And regardless of what he may have said to you about showing up, you don't know what his agent may have told him. You don't know what may have happened. And as a result, you're talking about the, uh, you know, the level of access that you or lack thereof that you have with this particular player. Obviously, there's some stuff that's going on. This man staying away is costing him $855,000 per game. Right. The person losing money is him. What are you mad about? You want to feel getting paid? You got a job to do. Why are you so upset at him when you are in the business of football as a player? You constantly have uh, met players getting screwed over, and you know what time it is. I'll tell you why. And by... No stretch of the imagination and not am I saying that Le'Veon Bell isn't one of the top overall players in the league, therefore he deserves his market value. Sure. Let right. me just get that out there first and foremost. Got it. But next, when you promise us you're going to be here, dog, on Wednesday mm -hmm. and you don't show up, mm -hmm. gloves is off. We making comments now because each situation is different. Don't look at all 1,300 NFL players equally. Mm -hmm. Look at Le'Veon Bell's personal situation mm -hmm. with this team. Mm -hmm. And in six seasons, the first game, four times he was not present. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now we're looking at you saying, if you want to get your money, handle that when they don't franchise tag you. The day after they didn't franchise tag him, you know what he should have did? Let him know, I don't even want to be here. Do the Khalil Mack. I don't want to talk to y'all. I don't want to be here. And then move on. But when you say you're going to be here and then you don't show up, now all of a sudden it's like, wait a minute, you're trying to send us into time the time game. Time time time. You know what? With a level of yeah, sabotage. With, 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 all, with all due respect, that's incredibly disingenuous on your part to say that. And here's why. When we're talking about the issue of business, we're talking about you communicating with your agent. We're talking mm -hmm. about your agent communicating with the team. The interaction that takes place, the level of dialogue and communication that may take place within that gap of time from the time they didn't franchise tag you to the time that it's time to show up before the season starts. We don't know what may have transpired, which is why players, regardless of the sport, religiously say, don't get involved with talking about other people's money. Now, I understand that they're not literally talking about his money. They're talking about inaccessibility, the lack of communication that has taken place between him and them, etc. But you also get to a point where you don't know who to trust. Nobody has brought this up. Look at the way they've turned on him. How do you know he didn't know that was in them beforehand, before they opened their mouth? Because you, being a professional basketball player, being a collegiate player, some of the issues you've had where people have turned their back on you and haven't been genuine and have been a bit phony and have talked behind your back and all of this other stuff, you know that just as well as anybody else. And you also knew it was in them before they did it. So let's not act like, oh my goodness, now that it's happening, here's the reason <laughs> why. He knew it was in them. Maybe that's why he's not talking to them. And maybe that's why he don't even want to be their damn teammate right now. It's but, possible. But, uh, he, here's, how, here's how a team dynamic works. The media and fans, they separate you based on your performance and your popularity, mm. and they make you special. Right. But in False, the locker but go room, ahead. But in the locker room, we're equal. Mm. We're family. Mm -hmm. We're homies. Mm -hmm. We're a team. Mm -hmm. I'm a lineman. I help make you one of the best backs right. in the game. Right, right, right. So if I think you're going to be there on Wednesday and you're not there, I turn to Connor and say, we're going to make you put up all of the statistics that he but put up. But wait a minute. But wait and a show minute. him and talk them talk about, talk about. it's about us as well. I want to see – who'd you call Le'Veon Bell's agent? Me. Right. I want to see him get paid. You are his All of us do. All but, of us do. But, 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 but no, he's not. All but, of us do, Grady. He got 10 million but, agents. But, but look, but when, but that's when the case. they didn't sign him to his franchise mm -hmm. tag, mm -hmm. that's the that's the day. Jalen Rose. Not Jaylen the Rose. day before Jaylen the Rose. game. Jalen Rose. You're the messed up. Game. You're messed up. And here's how you messed up. Because you brought the media into the equation and you mentioned the word divide. I'm sorry, I'll tell you what's a bigger divide than the media. How about that daggone salary? Because the fact of the matter is you got some cats that's getting paid $93 million, $100 million, et cetera, and others that are barely making a million dollars. The reality of the situation is it's not the media dividing anybody. It's the media reporting what really causes the divide. Because if you're in the locker room and you're getting paid this amount of money, but other dudes, but, but, but other dudes are not showing up or other dudes are 
not on your level. There's a problem. We got Ramon Foster, who we all respect. We know he can play offensive lineman. He's a good player. We get all that. They got three all pros in their offensive line. You talking about, well, you know what? He, he, he's getting paid. You know, maybe I should get that money. Yes, sir. He'd get paid seven times more than you because he's seven times better and more valuable. That's why, a matter of fact, Le'Veon Bell's of the world, you talk about, they're the reason he's making, he got the yardage. Guess what? He's the I'm reason. Not saying he, might, the reason. he might be the reason that they're saying, effective I, I'm, because he knows how to run the I, football I, effectively. I, no, well, 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 that last line. Final thought. That last line. You actually done messed up. You know. That. No, why? Because Connor you, you had know, 130 you know, plus yards against that, Cleveland. No, no, no. You against get, Cleveland. You don't get a chance to make both against arguments. Against Cleveland. You, you just, you just. I don't said. make both arguments. I leave that to Max Kellerman. Max Kellerman makes both arguments. I'm usually on point. Go ahead. Final thought. Do, do, can I not make the final point? Quick final point. point. Okay. Okay. Just, at the end of quick. this, at the end of this, you talked about Le'Veon Bell productivity. Connor's productivity Sunday equaled the season high of Le'Veon Bell so last season. So what? So there against Cleveland. I, I, I'm, I'm not just. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying. So now Mike Tomlin goes in front of a press conference and he puts up a depth chart, and guess what they do now? They feel confident about having Connor out there mm -hmm. to the point where they're going to list three running backs and not going to even list Le'Veon. Go ahead Here's with Here's what happens. You two guys keep yelling at each other, and I get yelled at later because I didn't get out in time, but the popcorn was delicious. Actually, Stephen we weren't yelling. Le'Veon going to get traded. Answer. And Thank I'm going to just tell you this. Y'all going to lose Le'Veon Bell just like the Raiders lost Khalil Mack, and y'all going to regret it. And we'll still be better than the Detroit Lions. No, have I don't a nice know about day. that. And, and he's our nice team. It's a good place to leave it.